Hey guys, we're back on the trail, Pacific Crest Trail. Woohoo! We're doing the 40 mile section that I missed with my family a couple weeks ago from starting at Sanium Pass and going up to um, Jefferson Park. We're very excited. Should take us two and a half days, or I guess half day today, full day tomorrow, and then another little tiny half day. So uh, we'll catch you later on the trail. This is one of those iconic views on the PCT. Oregon people, you've probably seen this picture a hundred times. This is one of the most stunning views on the Oregon PCT section. It's just like so cool. That is Three Finger Jack. Apparently there were some mountain goats up there earlier that people saw, which is really cool. I didn't know we had mountain goats in Oregon, or at least in this part of Oregon. Um, but yeah, people climb all the way to the top of that, which is crazy. But yeah, this view is awesome. kind of see it on the film but there's white specks over there on that mountain here I'll show you with my finger right there and right there and then there's one further up those are mountain goats they are white they're so cute we're way closer now there's a whole family right there see them moving oh it's so Okay, we're at Minto Pass. There's Jack behind us. There's the view out to Bend area. And then that's the view over to Mackenzie Pass. So beautiful here, but very cold and windy, so we're gonna keep going. So this is what the morning has transpired to. You can't even see across the lake. And it's really cold. Uh, we were fine last night, but this morning all these clouds moved in real thick. Um, also, uh, my husband like um, 
curled his ankle or something like that. Uh, basically, he was like on a rock. He went like that and like landed on the side of his foot funny. There he is, right there. And um, it's like bruised now. It's blue and swollen and uh, he's limping. So um, we're actually just going to head back and not continue on to Jefferson because that's like another 20 miles from here at least. So um, we're going to head back to a closer trailhead and see if we can get a ride back to our car. And uh, hopefully this weather will make people leave their backpacking trips early too. <laughs> and then we'll get a ride out more easily. Because this, <laughs> this is pretty... Not much of a view at the moment. This is kind of crazy. But yeah, we're um, this is Rock Pie Lake and we're heading out now. We're all packed up. That was our little tent spot. And uh, yeah, we'll see what in adventures ensue. Hey guys, so we are back from our little um, PCT excursion the other day. Um, so what ended up happening is the next morning, uh, the last clip I think you saw was the lake. Um, so the next morning, my husband could not walk at all, pretty much, and he was like really limping and his foot was blue. Um, so we ended up deciding to go back, but instead of hiking the 13 miles out that we came, um, we hiked out a different trailhead. So we ended up hiking down to Wasco Lake from the PCT, and from there I knew there was the Canyon Creek Meadows trail, um, just another mile mile or two from the lake, um, from Wasco Lake to the trailhead. And it's a really, really, really popular day hike to go up to Canyon Creek Meadows. And um, so I, I figured we could find a ride from there back to the PCT trailhead where our car was. So that's what ended up happening. We got a ride from a lovely um, couple of people from Portland who were heading back that way. So um, it all ended up going well and we ended up getting out of there. Um, so, yep, we didn't complete the trail or the hike or anything, but it's an awesome, awesome day hike. If all you have is one night and you wanna hike in somewhere and spend the night, I highly, highly recommend that section of the PCT. It is so beautiful. You just get so many views, and um, Rock Pile Lake is pretty neat, and um, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun, and um, I will try and complete that section of the trail next year. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye.